Hey folks, Knox at IT Inspired here. Wanted to talk to you today about keyboard shortcuts that can make your life easier. Um, this will be a very quick little video on some, some keyboard shortcuts that I love and I use regularly. Hopefully you'll find some usage for them too. Let's get started. Okay, we've got the, the Microsoft Word open here. We are pretty familiar with this, but I'm gonna cover the basics really quick with you, and that is copying and pasting. The first thing I'm gonna do to copy is I'm gonna highlight a field that I wanna copy, like this word text. I'm gonna hold the Control key and press C while I'm holding it, and then I'm gonna let go of Control. Um, that is gonna be copy. That's, that's a pretty easy one that we know. Now on a new line, I'm gonna hold control and press the V key to paste. And there we go. On the second line here, let's play with this one. Instead of doing a copy, if I wanna do a cut, I'm gonna do control and press X and that'll cut it. And then I can paste it in this blank line here with control V again. So that's copy and paste. Hopefully we know how to do that, but maybe we want to move around the text editing a little bit quicker. Well, of course we have the home key and the end key. Um, the home key and the end key basically just move you uh, to, the, to the end or the beginning of the line that you're on. As you can see, my, my cursor right now is going back and forth on that, that second line that we have. Um, if I'm using home and end, and I want to be able to select some of the information, I can hold shift and press home, and that takes me back to the beginning of the line, or if I'm already at the beginning of the line, I can hold shift and press end. And then from there, I can do my control C and go down to another line and press control V to paste. Very cool. If I also need to get to the very beginning of my document, I can hold control and press home, or if I want to get to the very end of my document, I can press control, or I can hold control and press end, excuse me, okay. Cool. That's some quick ways to get around some text editing. Let's go, to go through some bigger items, which is how to manage uh, the Windows operating system itself with keys. Um, as you can see, I've got a bunch of uh, software open right now, um, and it's, it's all kind of a mess. In fact, let's, let's make it look even messier. Okay, cool. If I want to clean this up and I want to dock something or snap it uh, into place, um, I can use, I can hold the Windows key and press an arrow key in the direction that I want to go in. So if I press the left arrow right now, it's going to take Google Chrome and snap it into place. So now it's taking up half of the left side of my screen. When I let go of the Windows key, it asks me what do I want to put in the other half of the screen. And you can see I can use my, my arrows to choose it and press enter, or I can even use my mouse and just select it. I'm going to pick on that Word document again. So that fills up half the screen. Um, if I also have um, this Word document here and I want to move it to the other screen entirely, uh, I can press Control, or excuse me, not Control, Shift, Windows key, and an arrow, and that will move it completely to the other screen. If I do uh, Shift, Windows key, and an arrow back, it'll bring it back to its place. Very cool. If I need to get to my file explorer quickly to open up some files, the keyboard shortcut for that is Windows key and E, and that brings up my file explorer. If I also need to get some system information about this operating system, uh, you can hold Windows key, and usually in the top right of your keyboard is a key called pause break. When I press that, it brings up the system and information on the screen. Very important if you're submitting a ticket to IT Inspired, something that's very helpful for us uh, is to know what is your computer name, which is in the dead center of this screen. Uh, right here, you can see my computer name is Knox Desktop. Another way to get that information very quickly is to do Windows key and R to bring up the run. Uh, you can see I've already got CMD typed in there. That's what we're going to do, CMD for command prompt. And you can get this information, the name of my computer, by just typing in host name, all one word, and press enter. If you're also not sure what user account you're logged in or we ask you what is your username, you can type in who am I, all one word, and press enter. And that's very neat. Or if you need to know what IP address you're on, maybe you're having network connectivity uh, and we're asking, you know, can you type in this command? This is a very popular command, and that is IP config, uh, all one word. And that tells you some, some IP address information for the network. That's very helpful uh, for your IT-inspired support staff. 
Um, another thing that's a little more useful for maybe the systems administrator, you can press Control X, and that does the same thing as right clicking on your start menu, but an even quicker way to get to an admin prompt of PowerShell, once you've done that, just press A. And it'll prompt you for the PowerShell, and there we go. Now we've got an admin prompt of PowerShell. Very cool. Okay, the very last thing I want to show you is something that uh, was pretty popular, actually, in, in the, the Mac OS um, uh, operating system, and that's virtual desktops. Windows can actually do that, too. Not many people know about that. But if you hold control, the Control key and the Windows key and the D key... That brings up a virtual second desktop that we can use. If you press uh, the, the uh, open up any application there, uh, open up all these applications that you want. If you need to switch back to your desktop, hold Control, hold Windows, and hit the arrow key. It will cycle back uh, to your desktop, and then you can hit the arrow key uh, to the left or to the right to cycle between them. When you're done doing that, you can delete or you can close that virtual desktop that you had with control windows key and f4 okay i hope this has been helpful for you guys get out there and try it out